There are 15 girls and some boys among the graduating students in a class. They're planning to get together, which can be either a one day event or a two day event or a three day event. And so girls and boys, 15 of them, some X of them, one day, two day, three day. There are six singers in the class. Four of them are boys. There are 10 dancers in the class. Four of them are girls. So singers, four boys and two girls. Dancers, there are six boys and four girls. Nice. Boys and girls, we don't know. Singers, there are four boys and two girls. Dancers, there are six and four. We don't know how many boys are there totally. We just captured the data. Nothing more. There are many more layers to this. It's a tactus. Some students are not interested in attending the get together. Those students who are interested in attending a three day event are also interested in attending a two day event. Those who are interested in attending a two day event are also interested in a one day event. So, three day event, three day event, two day event, one day event, and then there are people outside of this. This is a subset of this, a subset of this three day, two day, one day, and outside. There are some number of people here as well. So, this is like a a Venn diagram, a nested subset thing, right? So, and there are going to be boys and girls in each of them. And then this complicated singer dancer thing is also going to come. And already I'm not that comfortable because there is one hierarchy which is three day, two day, one day, and none at all. And there is boys and girls, and then there is singer dancer somewhere in the equation. Right? So, we don't even know how many boys are there totally. And right? interested in three day events, two day events, one day event. It originally drawn circles and it didn't, it didn't work out well. Raghu had the idea of doing it like this. It looks much better. Right? So thanks Raghu. Super. And then we come to other conditions. So we, we, we layer it on and say for each of this three day, two day, one day, we could have dancers and singers, dancers and singers, neither dancer nor singer. So we have layers of classifications. Some of these will probably not never get the detail. Some we may. Let's see where it goes. And now let's go to the conditions. All the girls and 80% of the boys are interested in attending a one day event. All the girls and 80% of the boys. That is 20% of the boys, which is 0.2x is outside. This is 0.8x. This is all boys. Number of girls, zero. Who are not interested in attending is zero. All the girls are interested. So this outermost should be 15 totally singers dancers neither all put together this is 0.2x we're talking about integers so this is 1 by 5x 1 by 5x should be an integer or x should be a multiple of 5 and so it could be 5 and 1 or 10 and 2 we see there are at least 10 boys so we're talking about 10 15 20 25 30 one of those numbers X is a multiple of 5, because there's a point to X involved here. Nice, let's go to the next condition. Some of the girls are interested in attending a one day event, but not a two day event. So there are some number here for girls, not here, but here. One day, but not a two day event. Some of the other girls are interested in attending both. That is some numbers come here or here, both one day and two day. So inside today there are a bunch of numbers, not zero. This is not zero either. Outside is zero for girls, that much we know. Seventy percent of the boys who are interested in attending a two-day event are neither singers nor dancers. Who are interested in attending a two-day event of the boys, 0.2x goes away here, 0.2x goes away here. So we have 0.6x remaining for two-day event. 70% of them are, are neither singers nor dancers. I mean, 30% of them are singers slash dancers. So if you think about singers slash dancers, if you think about this whole region, this whole region, singers and dancers, boys, that should be 0.18x. 30% of 0.6x. 70% are neither dancers nor singers. That means the remaining are dancers or singers. We already know that singers and dancers, there's no overlap. That's very clear, been given. 
60 percent of the girls who are interested in attending a two-day event are neither singers nor dancers so two-day event 40 percent of them would be singers or dancers 40 percent would be singers or dancers so this singer and dancer put together is 40 percent of the total number 40 percent is two by five the total number for the two-day event should be a multiple of five total number of girls should be a multiple of five and this number here all put together singer and dancer is 40 percent of something so it should be a multiple of two this is 0.18x 0.18 is 18 by 100 or 9 by 50 of x 9 by 50 that means x should be a multiple of 50 otherwise this won't be an integer if x were 50 this will be 9 if x were 100 this will be 18 we know the total singers and dancers is just 10 so x cannot be 100 x has to be 50 that's brilliant the total number has to be 50 that means this is 10 here this is 10 here this number is 9 singer and dancer put together for two day event which includes uh, three day event is, is 9 singer and dancer put together brilliant 60% of the girls who are interested in attending a two-day event are neither singers nor dancers that we'll probably use a little little later 40% are singers or dancers now we know that this is 9 this is 10 this is 10 the total number of boys is 50 that much more no girl is interested in attending a three-day event three-day event zero 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 brilliant that means we, there should be quite a few number here within the two-day event that region two-day but not three-day there should be some number all male singers and two of the dancers are interested in attending a three-day event all male singers how many male singers are there four male singers are there so let's draw a line here make this four and two of the dancers two of the dancers dancers have to be male because female is zero two of the dancers are here brilliant so overall there is nine all male singers are taken overall nine so that means if i extend this this should be zero that all male singers are sitting here the three-day event so only two day but not three day that should be zero this is four this is two four and two so i'm taking off this nine and putting three here brilliant so male singers should be zero and four only two day three day also and three and two only two day three day also brilliant and this is zero 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 how many girl singers are there two girl singers are there and four male four girl dancers are there you still have to figure that out the number of singers interested in attending a two-day event is one more than the number of dancers interested in attending a two-day event singers in a two-day event singers would be four so far dancers would be five singers number of singers is one more than the number of dancers this is five singers should be six this is six singers should be seven and so on and so the two-day event the five dancers already included from boys see the number of singers interested in attending a two-day event is one more than the number of dancers so dancers is five singers could be one more than that it could be six it means it could be this could be two this could be zero that's a possibility or we could have more than two singers with dancers also coming in there but we have only a maximum of two girl singers we have only six singers with us we already have five dancers so the number of singers has to be six so this should be two which means this should be zero nice so, lovely so we fill this out rather well let's continue with this 60 percent of the girls who are interested in attending a two-day event are neither singers nor dancers singers or dancers is only two that is 40 percent of the total people who are interested in doing a two-day event i mean if this is two this has to be three totally five 40 percent here 60 percent here neither singer nor dancer should be three the four dancers among girls there's no girl that is outside that we know 
So all four dancer girls should be in this region, not this. This is 0. So 2 plus 4, 6 plus 3, 9. Everything is filled. So this should be the remaining 6. That also we can fill. 15 girls are there totally. Now we fill the entire grid. Uh, very interesting question but properly challenging. I struggled and struggled and struggled for this. Because there are classification between boys and girls. And there is day 1, day 2, day 3 nested subset structure. And then singers and dancers for boys, singers and dancers for girls. Keep on that we grab onto this way of presenting data and then simplify and do it methodically. It seems easy. It's a properly challenging tough question. Let's attack the question now. This how many boys are there in the class is easy. 50. It should be a multiple of 50. 100 doesn't work. 50 works. Done. Which of the following can be determined from the given information? The number of boys who are interested in attending a one day event and neither dancers nor singers. One day event, neither dancers nor singers. Let's see this. So how many, five dancers are already taken, there's one dancer remaining. Four singers are already taken among boys, but there could, there's one dancer still remaining. That could be here or here. So I don't know where that missing dancer is. You see the, you see the person who wants to attend a one day event, but not two day or three day, or who does not want to attend any of this quite happy sitting outside. We do not know that yet. So statement one cannot be handled. We cannot answer this question. So we have one missing dancer, that person could be here or here, right? The totally six boy dancers, five we have accounted for, one still missing, therefore we cannot answer that. The number of female dancers who are attending, interested in attending a one day event. Female dancers, one day event, of course that can be answered. Two can be answered, one cannot be answered, only two. What fraction of the class are interested in attending a two-day event? Two-day event is this circle. So this 10 goes off, that 10 goes off, 10 plus 10, 20 is gone, this 10 is gone, 30 is gone. So the remaining of totally there are 50 plus 15, 65 people, 50 boys and 15 girls, 65 people, of which this 10 is out, this 10 is out, and this 10 is out, 30 is out. 35 are interested in attending a two-day event, which includes the part which is interested in attending a three-day event also. So 35 by 65 are interested. So 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 2, 11 plus 3, 14 plus numbers here that need to come in. So remaining is 35, 35 by 65, 7 by 13, done. What best can be concluded about the number of male dancers who are interested in attending a one-day event? Male dancers, dancers fire there for sure. Sixth one, that missing one could be here or could be outside. This, the number of dancers who are interested in attending a one-day event but not a two-day event, that, that sliver could be zero or one or the total could be five or six. We cannot say for sure that it has to be five or it has to be six. Five or six both are possible. How many female dancers are interested in attending a two-day event? Two-day event is this, including this, female dancers, zero, zero for sure. We know that zero, zero for sure, zero. Three-day event and two-day event. Two-day only, two-day but not three-day and three-day. This whole thing is zero, 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 zero totally. Lovely set, super challenging even though the solution kind of looks doable. Super tough in an exam context.